Crown Stall of Polka. This is uh, the pussycats of uh, the spider world. Literally, they are a black fuzzy pussycat. Absolutely perfect for a first time owner or keeper. Now, they can be on the on the um, expensive side of spiderlings, but they are almost bomb proof and they live a really long time. So if you've got this, uh, an adult spider, you'll see its overall coloration is completely black. Hence its common name, the Brazilian black. But it's almost like velvet. The, uh, the look on it is so soft. Let's um, get this camera and have a quick look at the actual spider because, wow. So this is adult female and on the camera here she's looking silver from the light but it's literally just the, uh, the, the small small hairs on her legs that are refract, uh, reflecting the light and making it uh, look that silver sheen. She is completely black to the eye. So there we go, she's a really good size. Now um, I'm a big lad so I've got big hands. Now she's about five inches and a half. Uh, diagonal leg span, we measure spiders diagonally. And she's got a fabulous gait, a fabulous stance as she walks. Look at that. And hopefully you can see that. But she is easily. Oh, look at that. I hope that came out on the camera. That was amazing. So that's a defense mechanism. She's not happy that she's out under the lights. She's flicking her hairs a little bit there. So as the common name suggests, Brazilian black, she's from Brazil, <laughs> where or the majority nowadays, I mean the majority, 90% of them will be captive bred. And you might see captive bred spiderlings quite often come up for sale. Now, they're very slow growers, so it will take them quite a while to get to this size. I don't really have any idea how old this one is, but I would bank gonna be in at least 10 years old. So keeping and housing these guys is really, really easy. Um, temperature wise, if you're comfortable, they are comfortable as a rule. Now, the adult tarantula starter kit that you see in the left hand corner now, that's perfect for these. Make sure to give them plenty of substrate to burrow in, more than than um, most Gramostola or even more, more than most Brachypelma because they do love to bulldoze stuff about the place. And uh, before you know it, they'll have moved everything around to suit them.